Okay, it's me again. Uh, so the background video is probably going to be a video of me drawing a face. It's going to be sped up, so that's not how fast I actually draw. Uh, thinking about it, that the whole thing probably took an hour, but in the grand scheme of things, it's just a sketch and nothing more. Uh, possibly equal to a doodle, really. So I was just drawing it. At some point, I thought I could do the inking, but then realized it didn't really look right at all. Mostly because I feel the certain features of the girl's face were off. So um, at, towards the end of the video, you see me rearranging with using the transform tool, certain parts, especially her nose. And then I just stopped at that point. Figured uh, it wasn't it was good enough. Um, plus, it was getting really late at the night, and I really needed to get to bed uh, to get so I get can get up early for work. Which brings me on to the next point. <laughs> so I haven't been uploading any videos up lately. Um, part mostly got to do with the fact that I, I do work a nine to five job. Although if you consider c uh, commute times, it's more like eight to six. <laughs> uh, but yeah, work has had a great impact on how often I do these videos and to be honest, I don't think um, making the videos is sort of, it should be a priority at least for me at this stage. Although I would like to do it because it does mean that I am focus uh, that it does get me to uh, draw something at least, even if it means uh, I spend at least uh, 30 minutes, um, which so although I haven't done any videos, it doesn't mean I have stopped drawing altogether. Um, it's mostly uh, doing basic practices, so basic line over line uh, practice exercises, and then doing 3D cues within a 3D space. So a, b a bit of line line work and perspective work, really. Um, and then eventually, I get into. Uh, trying to do uh, figure drawing actually specifically gesture drawing I don't think um, well I, I don't think I'm quite there yet especially with so with the way how my shapes come out so uh, it's mostly trying to get the sort of dynamic poses and that sort of energy in the direction of certain characters um, so I've been using certain um, Website so that I'll hopefully remember to link down in the below. If I don't, then someone knock me in the head or something. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a book I've been keeping an eye on by Michael Hampton called Figure Drawing, Design and Invention. I've noticed that this book gets mentioned uh, in, in a few places, but that particular book um, describes how to draw a figure from imagination. You gotta um, it's more than just how a, per how a particular object appears in a particular space. It's about sort of the energy and so and is capturing that sort of dynamism or, or line of action or whatever the term is, and putting that into paper. It's difficult in the sense because we're we're still trying to portray 3D objects within a 2D medium. Um, and that is always going to be a challenge, especially for me at this early on in the stage. In fact, uh, jumping onto gesture drawing is probably a bad step for me, but who cares? <laughs> anyway, but the reason why I'm doing, jumped into that is so I can actually test the waters and see what I'm getting myself into. Basically, what I'd like to do is uh, draw naked girls. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Well, or am I? <laughs> No. Well, I, I like to draw um, characters um, specifically in a sort of naturalistic style. Uh, the best example I can give you is sort of if you, if any of you played the Soul Calibur 2 game, Soul Calibur 2, or any of the Soul Calibur games, um, especially the art, that particular art style. I forgot who the artist is, but whoever it is, it does a magnif did a magnificent job on drawing the characters. Especially making it appear, making them appear so, I don't know, not anime-like, but sort of naturalistic. Um, I, at this point, when I when I tried to draw the face in this particular video, you notice that I keep repeating trying to draw the eyes, and it just appears too cartoony. Even now, when I look back at it, I mean, since last uh, was it last night? I can't remember. 
Um, I know that when I did the drawing video, it was uh, at night time at some point, but um, it, yeah, it just felt too cartoony. But I'm not going to worry about it too much, considering um, I've gone from drawing a 2D square to now drawing something that somewhat resembles a face. Uh, maybe if you close your left eye, tilt your head to the right, close your right eye, spin around. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Well, anyway, uh, that's uh, generally what I want to uh, focus on drawing. But also, I have this sort of particular story in mind that I'd like to work on. The issue is, I don't know whether to work on the story bit or the drawing bit. Um, it's not a matter of whether I'm actually good at any of them. I'm actually terribly bad at both of them. I can't write, I haven't properly uh, wrote a decent story. I don't even really read that much. Surprised, um, some of you may be surprised to hear, uh, at least not reading fiction or uh, science fiction. I don't really read a lot of those books. I, don't, I haven't really read Harry Potter for Pete's sakes, but you know, screw that. <laughs> but yeah, it's there's one particular story in mind I had, and I kind of like to um, draw it out and make it into, present it as a comic as opposed to. Uh, writing it as a novel or that kind kind of thing anyway that's sort of um, the end of what are my ramblings um, there isn't really much to talk about anyway hopefully I'll uh, make another video and see you then so